It's the weekend, folks. Welcome. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman, and it's hot. Hot in the studio, hot outside. It's hot everywhere. But thank God we're going to cool things down today. We're going to give you the best home improvement advice anywhere. That's right, anywhere. Remember that, folks. So if you're first tuning into the show for the first time, guess what? It's a home improvement radio show. Teaches you, the homeowner, how to fix, repair, or remodel everything within the four corners of your lot. But here's the deal. It's not a do-it-yourself show. However, I'm not anti-do-it-yourself. So what do I mean by that? Because people say to me, well, I you know, I love the do-it-yourself. Well, have at it. If you're a do-it-yourself and you're addicted to it, I love you. I, re- I envy you. I'm not that guy, right? Because from the neck down, I'm worth minimum wage. From the chin up, 10 figures. Yeah, that's right. Go figure that one out, folks. But here's the deal. Do-it-yourself is great, and it's all the rage. And if you want to learn how to stop your washing machine from doing the tango across the floor when it's in spin cycle, then you can Google that. But if you want to know the questions to ask the washing machine repairman so that he doesn't rip you off, so that you don't overpay, then this show's for you. You see, folks, a long time ago, your, cho- your, your, your most important tool in your toolbox was your checkbook. That quote is created and authored by Glenn Hagee. May he rest in peace. He was the best. However, I need you to know that today that's no longer relevant. That's an important tool. Don't get me wrong. But the most important tool in your toolbox is time. You see, time is the new currency. And who has time to do it themselves? Are you going to build your own deck? Yeah, if you want to take all summer to do it, but if you want the right contractor, then you got to make sure you plan properly. Because homeowners have a big fear. What is the fear that you have as a homeowner? You have the fear of overpaying. Okay? And I don't want you to overpay. I don't want you to get ripped off. That's why we created HireItDone.com. Right? It's the companion website to the radio show that teaches you, the homeowner, how to find contractors. And then we supply you with contractors. Who doesn't want that, right? Let me adjust this mic. There we go. So that's how the system works. And I'm here to give you advice. I'm here to give you content on home improvement that you can find valuable when it's time to hire a contractor. So let me give you this scenario today. Pretend we're all sitting in a coffee shop, your favorite coffee shop. Which coffee shop is that? Well, you can call it Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, any of them. Tim Hortons, whatever you want. Grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, your smartphone, notepad, whatever, and join my conversation so that we can share information for you. Now, here's the deal. Uh, Today, we're going to talk about how to keep your house cool. I'm going to get to that in a second. I've got uh, Nicole Curtis, member from Rehab Attic. She uh, and I did an interview recently um, that her new new season starts, so that's going to be cool. And I've got Kim Adams. Remember her from the weather? It's kind of funny because she's now one of the fastest growing real estate agents in Metro Detroit. And we're going to be talking to her about what to do to your house if you're going to list it, questions to ask realtors if you want to hire a real estate agent, and should you list your house now? Is it the right time? Should you wait? What's the right thing to do? So we're going to lay that out for you today. But let's get right to some important information. It is super hot. This is the heat wave that everyone's been talking about. And, of course, the professional air conditioning guys are super busy, right? And we want to make sure that um, you understand how to keep your house cool. So I'm going to give you some tips right now on how to lower your heat bill or your cooling bill, excuse me, how to keep your house cooler. In fact, we were just on uh, Hank Winchester last night and Channel 7 giving people tips. So let's talk about that right now. So... One of the re- biggest requests I get from homeowners, and you can text me a question if you want. Um, text me 97136 if you have a heating and cooling question. So here's what I talk about. First of all, homeowners always email me. Hey, Adam, I got a ceiling fan. Which way does the ceiling fan go in the summertime to keep it cool? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Do you know the answer? 
Tell me, text me 97136 if you know, but I'm going to give it to you in a second, but I want to go over a few things. So here's a couple of tips, first of all, uh, around your house. So your air conditioner outside, if you have an air conditioner, make sure, go outside, make sure your air conditioner has what I call a two-foot ring of safety. That means within two feet around your air conditioner, you shouldn't have bushes, you shouldn't have plants, you shouldn't have a, any brush that's impeding airflow, okay? You want free-flowing air so that the air conditioner can suck the air in and blow it out the top, okay? And that's the condensing unit outside. Now, the little fuzzies that fly off the trees, dogwood is what they call it, causes allergy, maybe everyone's allergic to it. Well, when those things leave the tree, and they're a little, you know, the seeds, right? They plant, that's how trees grow again, or, you know, offspring. But these little things that float, they aim for your air conditioner. I swear it's in the DNA of those things. So my point is, I want you to clean that off because if your air conditioner has a whole layer of those around it, that will reduce the efficiency of your air conditioner by up to 50%. Think about that. So you need to take a hose and get rid of the dogwood. Now, don't use a high-pressure sprayer. The, the cooling fins, the little metal vent fins that are on there, they bend very easily. You do not want to bend those. So take a light brush, paper towel, water, and just wipe it off. Cleaning that up will be a big, big, huge thing, okay? So I want you to know, folks, that's important, and you uh, got to keep that clean. Now, you've, you've listened to that and that. Now, go inside your house. If you have blinds, close all your blinds, right? Because scientifically, warm air travels towards the cold, okay? So that means the warm air, which is outside, wants to go in your house. Now, in the summertime... I mean, in the wintertime, warm air wants to go out towards the cold outside. So the opposite is true now. The, all the hot air wants to come in your house. So how do you stop it? Well, typically, you want to air seal your house, however. But for today, I want you to close your blinds. Because any type of layered situation in front of your glass, by the way, which is radiant convective heat going through, um, that'll slow it down. So that's another thing. Plus, if you have southern exposure, you definitely want the glass, uh, you want to reflect any of the heat that way. So that will slow down. Now, uh, go to your furnace, your air filter in your furnace. Remember, the air through your house, the air conditioning goes through your furnace and gets distributed through the ductwork and out the vents. You must understand, folks, that the uh, air filter, if it's not free-flowing and it's obstructed, that will reduce the efficiency another 50%. So think about this. If you've got a dirty air conditioner on the outside with all the dogwood, you've got a plugged air filter, um, guess what? You're in trouble. Houston, we got a problem. That's going to reduce the efficiency. So right now, folks, go in your basin, pull that air filter out, check it. If it's dirty, run to the hardware store, run to the big box store, and get a new one now, Okay? Because that will allow it to flow better. That, those two items will totally, totally help you out. Okay? So now you've got that going. So what about your thermostat? Get a digital programmable thermostat. Okay? And that way you can save money on that as well. So don't forget. Those are some of the tips. And by the way, the answer to the ceiling fan, counterclockwise. Just so everyone knows. That's right. Your ceiling fan should spin counterclockwise, pushing the uh, air down. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Hire It Done Radio Network, 97 won the ticket. Welcome back, folks. This is the Hire It Done Radio Network on 97 won the ticket. My name's Adam Helfman. With the new season of Rehab Addicts starting July 11th, this last week, Nicole Curtis stopped by the studio to talk about the new season and give us a sneak peek at what the viewers can expect to see. I asked Nicole if she was excited to be back for the second half of season eight. And this is what she had to say. Actually, like season nine, because right. we did this Detroit Rehab Addicts special with the Brush Park, Ransom yeah, Gillis House. been there a few times. I have over 100 episodes. I've been on TV almost 10 years, which is a record for anything, right. let alone my little show. Have you hit 100 episodes? Yeah, we're well, we're well over 100. Easily. Even better. Yeah. No, it's, it's insane. I've been on TV helps. like... Uh, 
I don't even, I mean, we, we just re-edited the dollar house. So before our premiere of our new episodes on July 11th, we're going to show everyone the dollar house in one hour, which it was eight episodes. We re-edited, used never be seen footage. It's hilarious because I'm like 10 years younger. Number one. I'm like, Oh, look at that puppy face I have. (laughs) And my hair is at my shoulders. It was like no way. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so that's really going throwback. People love your show. You have fanatics. Okay, when I was at the Ransom Gillis house, the line to see it was not around the block. It was around the block like three times. That was amazing. We didn't. I don't think we had drones because that was like yeah. a few years ago. So right. now everyone has a drone. I mean, the right. kid on the end of your street has a drone, but the line to get into that house was so insane people waited six to seven hours they were ordering pizzas in line right. they brought coolers and that's how all of our events go and all of our events go to help one particular family that's in need and it's always usually a family um that's dealing with cancer and they need to pay their their mortgage yeah. they need to pay their bills and that one we raised so much money which coincidentally went to my right hand man um bobby whose daughter tessa was battling stage four yeah. neuroblastoma at the time so it was it was so awesome. I didn't have a voice for a week. We raised so much money. We got so many people through. And it was just, it's just a party. People that yeah. come out to our events are just fun. I always tell people, yeah, but... if you're going to come, pack your smile. Don't be grumpy. Or I'll be the first one to tell you to leave. Right. But here's the thing. The reason they come out is the fact that the work product that you put out. See, no one ever talks about the work product. They're like, oh, Nicole Curtis, look at this house. It's the actual work product, the before and after, that... For someone like me who's been from the industry, I'm so amazed at how you produce that it's with insane. zero budget. I'll tell you what. If I how was, do you even do that? If I was building new builds, right? right, which I started out in, you know, way too many years ago. I don't want to, you know, throw my age out there because I want to be younger every day, but I'm just kidding. But new <laughs> builds are so simple. You right. just build from the ground up. Where we go through and I walk through a house, nothing's ever structurally sound. And I am in and out of that house in 15 minutes. I already got my budget. I already know what I need to do. And uh, that's what we do. It takes forever. Like this latest house that we are premiering on July 11th, um, it took almost a year. A year. And it's only 1,100 square feet. We're talking with Nicole Curtis, the host of Rehab Addict on HGTV. Uh, is, there, is there like a channel or is it like... It's they like, just float me. Yeah, I'm like the old lady everywhere. that they're like, just put her anywhere. Because Scripps and Discovery merged, so they right. own every single cable network out there. It's not everything, right. If they want to, they can throw my show on Cooking Channel tomorrow. It doesn't matter. And it gets I don't ratings. really care. And it I gets mean, really good <laughs> no. ratings. I mean, I make a joke all the time, which is kind of sick, but the money's all the same. No matter yeah. what network they put me on. I only build the houses. I don't get to decide what time we're on or anything. Well, I think they play your reruns on, like, the DIY network. So you understand the premise of Hired Done. It's for homeowners who can't find good contractors. They go to the website, and then we vet, pre-screen our contractors. So homeowner needs a roof. They go to Hired Done. Four contractors contact the homeowner and compete for their business. And they show up. That well, part, that's I'm why. I'm just kidding. I just got a Raz. Ad. I own the website contractorsyoushowup.com. Yeah, he can, he's just starting to sweat now. I'm sitting here in a tank top. You always and bust him for me. A I have to. You have to live a sarcastic life because the sh- the stuff that I have been through, you have right. to laugh. You, you have, have to do really it. Really good experience, and the stories that you tell are amazing. I know, and I don't even have to make these stories up. No, you don't. No, it's just life. No, Everyone you've always... experienced a lot from yeah. what you've done. Yeah. And i got to be honest with you. Well, I did write a New York Times bestseller, too, Adam. So, I mean, we'll just throw that one in, too. But, oh, yeah. well. So, let's talk about the show this year. Yeah. you have any good surprises, any stories, any any little tips or hints you, you, can, know, you can give us a preview about? I said this the other day. First of all, I'm the executive producer of the show. Right. I, it's, it's People such... don't realize how much you really do. No, <laughs> nobody understands what I really do. You know, I'm, I'm really good friends with, like, the Property Brothers and... Everyone. And Mm -hmm. I live in L.A. now, so it's like a little bubble of everyone that's on TV. I was just telling y'all, Carter Oosterhouse brought me a mattress to my house. That was a funny day. But the thing is, is that I still work with a very small crew. It's me and my guys. And that's it. And we have one camera. One camera. You do a good job with it, by the way. I pack my own sound pack on, and I run. When we get there, I start filming. I know what I want to shoot. I'm already story producing in my head, sure. and then I'm already cutting it in my head. I edit it. I always say I'm the first one in the edit room. I'm the last room, the last one out because it's really important what we lay. Plus, I have to cram all this down to 22 minutes of footage. 22. So a half hour show is 22 minutes of footage. The 22 because you got to throw some commercials in there right, so we get course. paid. Yeah. Which so people think you can rehab a whole house in 22 minutes. 
No, you know what the truth is, is that they always think that I really finish one room at a time, and I don't. I mean, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Could you imagine? I'm like, well, oh, I got to stage the bathroom, which the truth is the most important room to finish on a construction site. You always have, the plumber always comes in and puts a toilet in the sink because mama doesn't like outhouses. Yeah. Listen, that's important. It is. There's there's just priorities here. There are little, little, little um, tricks that you use. I know. Now, how did that house come out in the Lake Orion, Michigan? Remember when I visited it? So this, you raised the foundation. No, I'm still working on that one five years later. Uh, yeah. You, well, I've added some balconies. There's certain beautiful projects. Beautiful piece of property. There's certain projects that take me a long time, and then there's certain projects that don't. But well, anything, you live in L.A., so it's not like well, it's Well, I know, but I keep me back and forth. But anything that I know I'm going to hold on to for a long time, it takes me a long time to design because I want everything perfect. But this little tiny house that we're showing in the new episodes – I was in L.A., and I was searching online, and it popped up, and it was like $46,000. And when you live in L.A., you can't get... You can't get a, sidewalk like, for a four by six closet <laughs> for $46,000. So every time I see something cheap pull up, I buy it. The other thing I notice about you um, from dealing with you is that you have a, a nose for real estate. Um, yes and certain, no. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Listen, I, I've made a lot of money in real estate, and I've lost a ton of money. Right. So I don't consider myself an expert at any means. You know, you get that feeling, but there's a certain thing about you. You can look at a property. You can see right through it. And you can see the end game. Oh, Most people I, don't to be able to see that. It's always about the end game. How many viewers does the show have? I have no idea. Maybe two now. No, I'm kidding. Come <laughs> on. It's the, well, it, listen, it's the most, I know this, it's the most popular of all the rehab shows, Rehab Attic. You get, every year a new one pops up, but you're straight you know, through. I just made a joke about this the other day. You, you can throw as many Edison balls and clawfoot tubs into one show, but there's only one me. And you know me, I'm a very humble person. I would never, ever admit that I'm on TV. I would never say what right. I do. I always tell people I'm just a builder. But, you know, they've. It's a good thing for historic preservation because when I came on, sure. no one wanted to hear about restoring houses. Nobody. No. And now they're absolutely duplicating our our model. I mean, probably two shows a day. Right. I don't I don't have a TV, so I don't watch this because people are always like, Nicole, did you watch that show? No, because I would lose my mind, first of all. No, yeah, you know because what really goes I'm on a behind producer. the scenes. I'm a producer, number right. one, and I know what it takes to shoot my show. And then for somebody just to watch it, copy it, and redo it. I'm a little competitive. It. I would be a little upset. I'd be like, throw me some pennies now. I think I earned yeah, some on that. Yeah, but people, listen, people admire you, and, and they're, you know, they're they're thirsty for your stuff. And that's why the, the demand for you in this new season is going to be huge, because people are like, where have you been? What, people you always know? want to know, like, where have I been? And the truth is, I've been, I've been at home. Right. I'm really enjoying it. I'm like all my best friends buy a house, and I'm the house yeah. inspector for them. But I'm like, I literally have 15 minutes. I blow in because yeah, I don't. You can look at it. You I know, know what's exactly. going on, and I'm like, here, I'm but, writing up what you're going to ask for on your inspection list. I have to go. So they call you, and then, and but, but by the by the way, you just validated what I told you. The most important tool in your toolbox is what's time. The, what was that again? Time. Oh yeah, it's time. There and we you go. just yeah. said they're, everyone's calling. You don't have time for all that. No, no, I'm. I'm it's always, limited. Yeah, no, it's it's. I do it because I, I still want to help out my friends. Well, that's but the it reason does, why I have That's mad, why I said we don't do any yeah. personal design anymore. I don't. I can't. You can't. You don't I got to shut it down. There's energy in the world, and there's a limited amount of it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I have to make sure it goes to the right outlets at this point. Uh, and you know what? And I appreciate that. That's why I have mad respect for you, because you actually spent the time to come here and meet with me so that we could get your word out to the listeners. So I really appreciate that. I want to thank you. Nicole Curtis, Rehab Attic. July 11th, the season starts again. Again. Well, you know. No, I'm, no, I'm just saying yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah, and it continues, and it's going to be your best season yet. I I'm think sure. it is because I, I said the other day, after this many years on TV, anything goes. And I'm the editor, and I'm the producer, so if I want to show you just a silly 22 minutes of me Why not? being silly, that's what you get now. But it's good content. I think Content it is. is good. No, it's I'm real telling life. you, I watch it. Yeah. So I know. Well, thank you. And I, I, that's and two I people that watch it. my show. Yeah, so we're good. Yes. Well, I want to thank you for coming on today. I've had so much fun. Yeah, you know, you're you're way overdue. This is like you know, my third my win feelings. now. Ouch, hurts my feelings. Anyways, folks, that was Nicole Curtis. Uh, season 9, July 11th. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Kim Adams. That's right, folks, real estate expert. I'm Adam Helfman, and you're listening to Hire It Done on 97. Won the ticket. Welcome back, folks. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. Home improvement expert. 
That's right. <laughs> this hour brought to you in part by Mosquito One. Hired Done customers get up to $50 off. Click on HiredDone.com for details. If you really want to get rid of mosquitoes, folks, let me tell you, those guys rock. Also uh, brought to you by Infusion Kitchen and Bath. We negotiated a rock-solid deal here, folks. Get the coupon at HiredDone.com. You get 40% off your first item and then 25% off the rest of your order. You can't beat that deal anywhere. And they sell Kohler. They got everything there. Infusion Kitchen and Bath. And then also All Brick Design. Yeah, we just filmed a uh, video uh, this past week at Fent, which is a Michigan company. Uh, they make brick pavers, Fent uh, Builder Supply. And All Brick buys from them. And we have a 20% off coupon for All Brick Design. Go to HireItDone.com. And uh, that's what we're doing here, folks. We get you deals. Hire it done saves you money on home improvement. Not only do you have that fear of getting ripped off, well, we allay that fear. We don't want you to be ripped off. But we also want to help you, help you save money. So that's what we've been doing, and it's been hugely successful. Homeowners, thank you for using the website. Thank you for doing that. But here's the thing, folks. A lot of people are scratching their heads right now. Oh, Adam, I want to do this big project. I can't, you know, I called the contractor. He was great, but he can't start for six months. We're thinking about moving. And you know what's funny? When I was a contractor, I used to have the motto, don't move, improve. But the opposite seems to be taking hold as well. People are like, you know what? I don't want to fix my house up. I'm going to move. So if you're thinking of moving, you got to list your house. Is it a seller's market, buyer's market? Who do you call? How do you find a good real estate agent? Huh, we have the answer. <laughs> right? I have the answer, yes. That's correct. So me. joining me, yes. <laughs> joining me in the Hire It Done studio is the famous, or infamous, should I say, I'd say neither one. Right. It's just I'm a me. Professional. How's that? The yeah. pro Kim Adams. The pro. I'll take that. I will take that. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, awesome. So uh, we're not going to ask weather-related questions till later. You can. Oh, okay. I was going to yeah. say. I knew you would eventually. So introduce yourself to the Hired Done audience. Well, hello. Hi. I'm here. I'm. I'm so used to. You know, back in the day when I did radio and television, but particularly radio. I could be in sweats and a baseball hat right now. There was no social media. There was no Facebook Live. So I wouldn't right. have to get up and actually put on makeup. So now we've got cameras. We're on Facebook Live. So hello, 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 all, right. everyone listening. Uh, so excited. Well, I think this is my first time on Facebook Live. Really? In fact, I know it is. Well, I feel great. There you go. In fact, I'm super proud. Okay, good. So, okay, so t let's talk real estate. Mm -hmm. um, homeowners are you know there's a shortage of houses in michigan right now right. for sale mm -hmm. which and that means in seller's market right it is a seller's market for sure um right now inventory is down 22 percent and it was down the year before as well so a very very good market for sellers right now it's driving prices up inventory is low now you might hear oh well home sales are down how's that possible Right. Because there aren't enough homes to buy. So well, that's home why they're sales, down. Right. Home sales have been down 35 months straight. They've been in decline. But again, it's the inventory, especially in this two hundred to $500,000 range. If you have a house in that range and you're thinking of selling, oh, I'm not sure, now, 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 do it that's, now. That's good advice. So here's, here's the reason why, folks, from my perspective. In 2008, the world collapsed, right? Mm -hmm. And people said, oh, yeah, I'm not going to spend money on anything. Right. Even home improvement, we would track the requests from homeowners. It used to be, oh, I want to update my kitchen. I want to remodel this and that. Now it's, I want to fix my sink. Mm -hmm. I want to replace the toilet. Right. I don't need a new roof. I just got to fix the, the one corner that's leaking. Yeah. That's what people did. But then they also stopped spending altogether, and then they have now a pent-up demand. Mm -hmm. Well, the developers and the builders, and they stopped building houses. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden this pent-up demand is greater than the supply. Right. It's all basic economics. Mm -hmm. So now it's a seller's market. A seller's market, folks, means if you're a seller, that means you're in charge. Right. Well, to a point. I mean, it, de it depends on people still want what they want. Sure, and they're not going to settle for anything less than that. So our job is to find you the best home. And then also, if you're selling a house, to get you top dollar for your house. Um, again, that two hundred to five hundred thousand dollar range is the sweet spot. A little bit above that, even up to seven fifty, you're you're still pretty much in control when you're when you're a seller. So it's it's a good time to list, and it's a good time to buy as long as you have the right agent because houses are selling quickly. So you need to have someone that has experience. Uh, experience. Not just experience, though. You have to have a team behind you. I joined Jeff Glover and Associates. It's the number one real estate team in Michigan. He's the number one agent. 
And for me, it's like working at the network. I compare everything back to TV. Sure. Um, it's like working at the network. We, you know, when you're in a small market, you're a one man band. You have, you know, you've got to shoot your own stuff. You have to right. write it. You have to do everything. When you get to the network, you have a whole team. So you are, even if you're, you're going to be a little bit better, but you're going to be even better because you have this whole team of support. And, and that's what I, that's why I joined his team. So, Cause it's amazing. And you know what? He has a great reputation. So I know him. He's, He's a good great. guy. He's a good guy. So you can't yeah. go wrong folks. If you do that, right. of course we want you to hire Kim at, well, That's exactly right. So right. I liken what you just said to like, you know, your toolbox, right. the most important tool in your toolbox, right? And, and the more tools you have, the more equipped you are. There you go. So See, you equate it, it to tools, I equate it to television because that's... That's what we've done. So. I like that. And so, um, folks, so Kim Adams is a real estate agent right now with uh, Jeff Glover and Associates. Mm -hmm. And let's give some listeners some tips right now okay. on how, um, like, if they're thinking of listing their house mm -hmm. and they don't know what to fix up, right. they, you know, or, they're, you know, they've got generations of schmutz around the house. So <laughs> schmutz. <laughs> yeah. It's a higher done Yeah. <laughs> so, and I've been in houses. People do have a lot of schmutz. Right. And you, yes. I'm sure you go through a ton of houses. I do. I do. Yeah. So let's, what can homeowners do today uh -huh. if they're thinking of selling their house? What are some of the things they could do this weekend? Okay. If you're thinking about selling your house right now, there are plenty of things that you can do. But the number one thing, declutter. 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 It is the time for several reasons. Number one, your house is going to sell faster. It looks nicer. Take out all the family pictures. Put those away. Keep in mind, we're not asking you to put things away and get rid of them forever. Just put them away until you sell it. You may love right. that picture of, of Aunt Betty, and we can't put Aunt Betty away. Well, Aunt Betty needs to be wrapped in tissue paper, put in a box, and she'll come out in your next house, but not this house. Right. So and too much is, 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 is a nay. It's like, too it much. The house. So if you're a hoarder, it, it don't even list your house if you're a hoarder. <laughs> well, no, that's not necessarily true because Ooh. I have resources for you. So some people say, look, it's summertime. I don't want to spend the whole weekend it's in my basement. Much. I don't want to spend the whole weekend cleaning out my, my house. Well, guess what? I have people to do that for you. Really? Uh, we have a stager that works for us, and she will come to your home at no charge to you. So it's not... It's, it, if you list with me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, she'll come Added out. Added value. I love Her that. Her name's Jessica. She's amazing. And she will come to your house. We cover it. And she'll tell you, look, don't focus your time on this closet. Focus it in the kitchen where you have things everywhere. She'll tell you what to do. Put this here. Move your sofa this way so the living room looks bigger. Um, if you want to hire her and have her do it, she can do some stuff. I also have professional organizers. No one, it's summertime. Your weekends, time is the most precious thing that we have. Professional so most, organizer, you just said? I have two professional I organizers. Need one of them. Do you? Okay, oh, yeah. I've, got a, I've got names for you. I hire that done. And, believe, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, I'm not above sweat equity. If I list a house and, and I'm right. having the professional photographer come in and take pictures. I'm going to be there, and if I see something that's out of place, I'm going to take the trash can in the bathroom. We're going to tuck it under the sink. We're going to, you know, I okay. will do that for you if there are things left over. And but that's I'm smart. also Type A, and <laughs> I, I need to to make sure that everything is perfect. So we can do that for you. You don't have to spend all your time doing it. And it's it's actually less expensive than what you would think. Well, that's interesting that you say that. So folks, if you're listening and you're thinking about um, listing your house, um, these are some really good tips. Mm -hmm. um, so. What about if you walk into someone calls you say, all right, we got to get ready to hit this house. We're downsizing. Kids are going to college and it's time for a smaller house or we want to go to a condo because I don't like the maintenance anymore. Sure. You can walk through the house with them immediately and say, all right, let's list it. But before we do, we need to uh, remove wallpaper, you know, maybe yes. uh, power wash some things and, you know, paint some windows. Just happened. You and I just yeah. did. I, I listed a house last week and... Um, uh, at 17693 Wildfire in the North Valley. We're going to have a link to that. Um, a fabulous house, amazing house. Um, but they had a very specific wallpaper in the foyer, sure. which is a two story foyer with cathedral ceilings. And it was a blue and white toile. It was beautiful, but it's a very specific taste. Sure. And the rest of the house, they had painted rooms, made them neutral colors. And you want that consistency. And you also want that foyer. When you first walk in, that's your really your second impression. Your first impression is curb appeal, sure. which is another thing we'll focus on in a yeah. second because you do need to improve that curb appeal now or they're not going to get through your front door. But walk in. So you came and yeah. I said, look, you know, the, you need to take down the wallpaper. We discussed it. You don't have to, but this is just a suggestion. Right. I called you because 
try to find a contractor. You know, we need to get this done now. I needed to get it on the market. Hire it done, comes in. Bam. Bam. And by the way, super nice homeowners and very great. Nice. If you want to move to Northfield, folks, yeah. this no, is a great house. This yeah. is a great house and priced, and this is the thing, priced to, to sell. sell. Priced right. Even though it's a well, seller's market, they're smart, they're savvy. Yeah, Multiple you know offers coming in is what you want. All right, so we're going to take a break. When we come back, I want to talk about pricing the house properly yes. and a couple other things. This is the Hire It Done Radio Network. My name's Adam Helfman. 97 won the ticket. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. This is Hire It Done. My name's Adam Helfman. Back in the studio with me, Kim Adams, real estate extraordinaire. One of the fastest growing real estate agents in Metro Detroit. Thank you very much. Jeff Glover and Associates. Awesome. You know what I like about him? Everything. Well, besides, no. <laughs> this, this is what sticks out. Okay. He uses a Blackberry. And I'm like a Blackberry guy. Oh. So I've got mad respect for him on that. And, and people make fun of that. No, I love it. No, no, people do though. But you know, the president uses a BlackBerry yeah, because it's more it's secure. Encrypted, yeah. Right. So there you go. Well, so I will trust not make here, fun Cam, of you. If we're talking about the president, let's just say this. Uh huh. Trust the plan, and where we go one, we go all. Remember that. Okay. okay. All right. Just remember that. Okay. So homeowners looking for a house pulls up to the house with the real estate agent. Mm -hmm. When's the buying decision made? When the curb appeals is so important, right? Curb appeal is very important because you have to get them in the door. There are some buyers who will pull up to a house and say, let's go to the next house. Right. Um, so, so landscaping has got to be clean. Right. You don't have to spend a ton of money. Um, you may like the garden gnomes and the statues and the pinwheels. And, the you know, my mom has this ceramic duck that she changes its clothes for the seasons. <laughs> really? Cute. But, but put it away, Mom. We're going right. to take that out. I mean, just clean up the yard, trim the hedges, make sure the grass is cut. Um, paint the front door. Something as simple as color. paint the front door. You may like your purple or turquoise door, but the majority of people are just going to want a simple gray, black, you know, something very neutral, 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 neutral. neutral. Um, again, this isn't something that's permanent for you. You want to sell your house. Focus right. on your next house, right. which we can also help you find. So, um, just clean it up. So curb appeal is important. Curb appeal is very important, yes. Okay, so, you know, what, here's, a, here's a thing that I always am worried about when a homeowner is interviewing real estate agents. Okay. So they're like, um, here's my house. I think it's worth more than everyone else in the block. And they interview three people. Mm -hmm. One person says, according to the statistics, your house is worth this. And then the one guy says, or person says, I'll get you 950 Right. Who, what do you, how do you warn people about people like that? Well, first of all, I don't really talk about the other agents. I present me, and this is what I will do for you. This is what my team will do for you. And one of the best things that we do is we price homes correctly because someone may say, well, I can get you $50,000 more for the house. No, what they're going to do is list your house for $50,000 more than what it's going to sell for. And in two weeks, a month, when it's still sitting there, they're going to say, oh, well, we just didn't get a lot of showings. We're going to need to reduce the price. You know days on the market is so important. You don't want your house to sit there. If you price it correctly, and especially in this market, you should be getting multiple offers. You get into a bidding war. That is the best situation, sure. and that's how to get the highest price for your house. So don't think that that agent just happens to know a bunch of buyers that are willing to pay $50,000 more. Keep in mind, if they also over oversell it, and, and even if it does sell, for above that, it still has to appraise. Right. And now in this market, some buyers will be willing to pay a premium. They'll pay over what Come it appraised closing, for. Yeah, yeah. But that's not the ideal that's situation. Not, it's rare though. It's rare and it's not what you want to be in right now. You want your house to sell quickly with multiple offers. That's the best way to do it. Okay, so let's define for the listener what quickly means. So two to five mm -hmm. range, the 200000 to $500,000 range in this marketplace, how long should a house be on the market for if it's priced correctly? Uh, it should sell very quickly. I mean, some houses are selling within hours, days, but I mean, it goes very fast. That's because there's such a demand. To there is purchase. such a demand. And, and that's in a lot of price ranges. You get, you get, we sell houses from, people don't realize this, but we sell houses from 100,000 up to in the millions. They think sometimes, you know, that Jeff Glover, well, because they do all this stuff for you, we have showing agents, we have professional photographers. Right. We charge the same commission as anyone else. Right. And we list houses for all different price ranges. And you get the same services. You get all that for the same commission. Correct. Um, so we have something called showing agents. So you have to make sure, first of all, your agent is full-time. 
right. can't be part time. Yeah. Why would you part-time trust gig. your most prized possession, your biggest investment with someone who's like, oh, yeah, I can't really show your house next week because I'm up north or I'm at my other job. That doesn't work. This is full time. But I can't be everywhere 24 seven in this hot market. You have to make sure your agent has a team of showing agents. I, if I if I have a buyer, I'm not going to pass you off to someone. That's not what it's about. These showing agents that work for us, they can be available. If I'm at a negotiation or a closing, they are going to go. If I have a buyer that says, I need to see this house right now. Right. We have people, they'll get you there right now. And you have to get there because while I'm at a closing or right. at a listing presentation, that house could sell. That's the key. So that's the key. You have to make sure that your agent has a team so to back them up. When somebody says, why, Kim Adams, it's because you're a part of the Jeff Glover team. It's ex- it's it's both. Right. It's because I'm I'm part of the team, which is very supportive. But when we talked about pricing, yeah, uh, much like when I did the forecast before I get to your house and tell you what I think you should list for, I have done so much research. Right. Not all agents do. Um, you know, I will do a complete market analysis. I spend hours and hours looking at market trends. I look at the comps. Comps are the comparables. What has not, not what's listed in your neighborhood, not just that. What has sold and not sold a year ago, but sold in the last 30 days, so you 60 know. days. You keep your finger I, on the pulse. You know what's going on. Right. I approach it very much like a science, just like I did the weather when I would go on. You'd see me for two minutes on the news, but I had spent eight hours ahead of time preparing for that two minutes. Same thing when I do a listing presentation. I've got the numbers. And so if you have an agent coming in and saying, look, um, they're 50, 60, $100,000 more than what I told you it could sell for, make sure you say, okay, show me the comp. Show me the comparables that support your price, price per square foot. If they can't do it, you're not going to get that price. You're just not. And that's, you know, that's really good advice. So here we are in the beginning of July. Mm-hmm. We're coming up to July 4th weekend. It's yes. called summer. Right. Um, if a homeowner's thinking of listing... Is it better to get it on the market now, or should we wait? Or should, what should we do? What's the first step for a homeowner? Well, first of all, you know, we're not trying to get you to sell your home. You're going to sell your home when you're ready to sell your home. Of course. People move. There are reasons why people are moving. But my suggestion is sell it now because it is hot right now. And I don't know I don't mean the weather. I mean, it is the market is very hot. Um, and also the timing. You get into middle August, end of August, people are transitioning. They're talking about going back to school. They're right. they're doing different things. Now is a really good time. We are having houses sell. You know, we sell, uh, we're on track this year to sell over 1,500 homes. Number wow. one team. Sold 1,000 homes uh, last year. So, um, you know, crazy. number one team. Love it. It is crazy. I told you I work for the network. This is the this is the big dog here. Right. Um but there's a reason why it's it's because it's well, just you a great have team. all the you have the team and that's the best part you've got people it. that will help you and facilitate a really smooth closing right and we also a have the process. backing of Keller Williams it's yeah. Jeff Gulliver and Associates but it's also Keller Williams which is the largest sure. real estate company in the country so I deal with a lot of real estate agents a lot and um, not anymore well <laughs> perhaps maybe um, yeah no you're right no listen my experience with you has been stellar thank you and thank so you. I appreciate for anyone that. out there thinking of you know, hiring a real estate agent, if you're ready to list, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. It's like hire it done. If you're ready to hire a contractor, come to hire it done. Right. If you're thinking about it, why don't you wait till later? But right. if you're ready to list your house, folks, I, I'm going to tell you right now, give Kim Adams a call because she'll bust her rump for you. I will. I, I know. Will. That. I, I know. will. So what are, let's talk about, you know, sometimes I like to talk about as we, oh my God, time's flying. I know. Deal breakers. I have homeowners calling me all the time. This home inspector doesn't know what he's talking about. Can you come out and take a look? Mm. Can a can a home a home inspector wreck a deal? Oh, absolutely. They can scare. There are some overzealous ones that can scare a buyer, but that's where you need a seasoned agent to come in and understand. They have to understand first of all the value of your house, and right. they have to understand a house. They have to know about, you know, I, I've, I've seen agents that come and they don't know what a fuse box is. They don't know what right. the systems, they don't so understand you know. the systems of the house. I know, I've studied the houses. I know, I understand it. So That's that can, I'll tell you what can kill a deal is the appraisal. And here's where we come in, where if it appraises too low, we don't just say, oh, well, it appraised too low. You're gonna have to figure it out. No, you we, will, we back. will push back. We will fight the appraisal. We will go into the home and say, okay, but they didn't notice a, B, and C. You know, they didn't recognize that you have this, you have that. And so we'll go back to up. the appraiser and 
nine times out of 10, they'll say, you know what? Yeah, we did miss that. We're going to bump it up a little bit. So that's something that you, that's another reason you need a, a good agent. You know, it's funny to, uh, to go back to home inspectors. When I have home inspectors on higher agenda, we have a few. Uh -huh. I always tell them, listen, if you're going to find flaws in the house, mm -hmm. if you're going to be part of higher agenda, then you need to um, also, pr uh, or, uh, f when you find the flaw, you need to also present a solution. Yes, exactly. And, and so, that's great. That's you know, great oh, advice. we have signs of mold, right? Uh oh, that's the deal killer, right? But if you say, looks like it could be microbial agents, but here's the solution. Mm -hmm. um, the roof has a couple of drip marks over here. Here's the solution. It de it de that's it disarms great. everything. That's a, that's great advice. And so you might you know, you know pass that along to everyone that you know. But that's yeah, that's great. That's really good because advice. Then they're not deal. Uh, there's two kinds of real estate. I mean, there's two kinds of inspectors mm -hmm. deal makers and deal breakers mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. prefer to be the deal makers right right okay so folks if you want to get a hold of kim good you go to hire and yes. uh -huh. just say i need a real estate agent i'll send it to kim right right, right. you, you have do. a website so right you're on facebook you're everywhere i'm on facebook i um I, we have phone numbers on there you can call. My phone number is, is on there. If you are ready to sell, you can call either one of those, 855-JUST-SELLS, or you can call the 586 number. Want me to give it out on there? Yeah, you can give it out, sure. 586-557-2799, folks. Kim Adams, I want to thank you for you coming on today. Thank you for having me. It's Always. been great. You'll be back. Don't worry. Really good. Okay, All right, I'm folks, excited. it's the weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week. 971.